Okay guys, so it's me Gabba this side. As you can see in this medical vlog, I'm going to show you something very unique and very different from the other vlogs which we have shown till now. This is actually called a anatomage. So if you can see this device down, it looks like a surgical table, but it is not. It is actually a 3D representation of the real human cadavers which are being saved by anatomage. And these are actually the real cadavers. So there are some anatomical differences among them. So they also have the different history and cases. So as Dr. Peligro in the next part of this video, they have showed it. So you can use different various applications of this and study more about the human anatomy. So watch this video to the end. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment on the video. Thank you guys. So we have here the uh, anatomach or our uh, virtual cadaver. So this is, uh, it contains uh, four different uh, cadavers as you can see. Uh, the cadavers are actually, uh, they are not uh, purely uh, computer animated or computer generated images. So basically what uh, they uh, did here, no? I'm talking about uh, the manufacturers, uh, they preserve uh, bodies and then they slice uh, these bodies uh, thinly in different planes and photographs were taken for uh, every thin slice and uh, as I have mentioned uh, earlier these are actual bodies and they have uh, medical history uh, provided because uh, some organs may not uh, look uh, normal so we have here one of uh, the uh, uploaded digitized cadaver. It's already open. So we can actually move this uh, around. Two finger uh, touch allows us to drag. One finger touch allows us to uh, spin, rotate, whatever direction you want. Then a pincer touch allows us to resize. You can make it bigger or you can uh, make it uh, smaller, depending on how uh, you would like your uh, image no, uh, to be. So, how do we dissect these uh, images? No, or these uh, digitized cadavers are dissectable. Uh, there's a quick dissection that we can do. We just uh, slide this uh, bar right here. So you can remove uh, uh, one full layer at a time. Then uh, we can click on structures. You can see the names are uh, displayed. As you click on the structures, you can also make uh, nerves and blood vessels uh, appear or stand out. And you can take them out if you don't want uh, to see them. We can also remove one organ at a time. Earlier, I was showing you, you uh, remove no, several organs or one layer. No? with this uh, sliding bar right here. I can remove uh, one organ at a time until I expose uh, structures uh, that I want uh, exposed. So let's uh, bring everything back. So another dissection that we can do here, we can cut uh, we can cut this up different lengths. Let me show you. I'm uh, I will cut along the uh, sagittal plane. Rotate. You can see uh, the mid sagittal section right there. If I want to scroll along uh, the sagittal plane, I just do the three finger touch. Uh, 
So you can see. I don't have to make uh, another cut no? at a different uh, level of uh, the sagittal plane. I simply scroll. So same thing earlier. We can uh, click on a structure so it uh, will be identified. We have the liver right there, thoracic vertebral bone, intervertebral disc so on and so forth so it also has a histology uh, as you can see we click on the liver and histologic image of the liver now is shown on uh, our split screen You have different uh, histologic images no? related to the organ that uh, you're uh, you're clicking or highlighting. So let's uh, try intervertebral disc. As you can see, it will show you the histology of uh, the intervertebral disc. So we also have, uh, if you don't want to open the full body, we can open uh, regional anatomy. Let's say I want to uh, study the head and neck only. Let's wait for, uh, for it to load. Okay, while waiting for uh, the, the uh, regional uh, anatomic uh, model no, to load, so right now we are uh, operating at the time of a uh, pandemic no, we, where we have uh, quarantine, so students cannot come uh, here in the lab. What we do is uh, we can hook this up uh, online and we can uh, broadcast or show the uh, dissection by uh, Zoom. Uh, and actually now there's a Google app which uh, can also allow uh, remote viewers to move. Uh, but uh, one section is uh, quite a large class, so we're not uh, actually promoting or using that one. No, one section usually will have uh, around 120 students. So imagine if uh, all 120 students will try to uh, manipulate at one time. And most of the time when we do our uh, lab sessions or lab classes, um, we record and use uh, videos of actual cadaver dissection or we discuss the uh, plastinates. We discuss, uh, we make videos of the plastinates. But there are, uh, there are structures no, that are not readily visible in uh, the actual cadaver and uh, in the plastinates. So we use this no, because... Uh, for uh, very uh, small structures no? with, uh, with, with uh, finer details no? that are not, again, readily seen in uh, our large models. No? We use uh, our anatomage here. Now let me show you no? the uh, regional anatomy for, or, or the regional model for head and neck is now open. So I can actually... Uh, Let me show you uh, one 
area or one part of the body that is not uh, easily no? readily dissectable in our uh, actual cadaver or even uh, in uh, our plastine. So I took out uh, the structures, uh, superficial muscles of the face, and I also removed uh, part of uh, the orbital wall. When we say the orbit, uh, we are referring to uh, the bony uh, structure no? where uh, the eyeball is uh, found. No? So we can now see here the actual uh, eyeball and uh, its uh, related uh, structures like uh, the muscle that moves the eyelid up. Let's try to remove that one including the upper eyelid. Now you can see uh, the eyeball right there. So we can identify its uh, different uh, parts. Let's uh, try to remove the cornea so we can... Uh, you can see the finer structures no? are uh, identifiable. So let's bring out uh, including uh, the nerves. No? actually uh, extraocular muscles no? I'm having a hard time uh, clicking on uh, the right there no? I was able to uh, highlight click on uh, one nerve it says their uh, supraorbital nerve have the nasolacrimal uh, ducts, no? the uh, channel for uh, the tears. No? The, uh, those are the ducts uh, where uh, the tears uh, will uh, enter no? and flow going to uh, the nasal cavity, nasolacrimal duct. I can also cut this up. right here cut section rotated or turned towards the medial side so it's uh, enlarged right now we can bring it back to its uh, original size there are quick uh, buttons here no? that can allow you to uh, reposition so we also have uh, physiology uh, menu. You can uh, open no? different uh, videos or models where uh, physiology is highlighted. Let's try uh, the nerve uh, pathway. Okay, while waiting again, uh, if we have a large class no, ongoing uh, at the moment, no, we can also broadcast no, our dissection on uh, the uh, flat screen TVs no, that are uh, distributed around the room. So students do not have to crowd here. Only those who... who want to operate. No? Only those who are supposed to operate can uh, stay close to the table. And also we can uh, move uh, the table upright and the audience will be on that side. There are other uh, virtual uh, cadavers available in the market but uh, some of them you cannot operate uh, offline. So for the anatomage, all uh, the things that you need are stored in uh, the CPU, hard drive of uh, its CPU. So even without uh, online access or internet connection, we can uh, open 
and uh, we can do our uh, dissection. Uh, you can see right here the uh, histology uh, mode for this particular uh, what histologic uh, function is uh, highlighted here. We have the uh, dermatome sensory map for uh, the skin. So if you click, no? if uh, we click on one uh, dermatome uh, level, you can see, you can see the nerve pathway. It's highlighted, the nerve pathway for that particular uh, dermatome level. Cases. There are also clinical cases that we can view here based on uh, the body region. So as you can see right there, we have different uh, loaded, uploaded uh, imaging uh, files no, for uh, the head and neck, MRI, no. For the hand, then you can see uh, description of the case right there. We can open this actually no? and uh, get a larger image. No? So this uh, device is not only for uh, teaching actually. You can see this is actual scan of uh, a patient. Even the uh, intravenous uh, tubing no, is uh, shown part of the image right there. We can open the uh, case uh, description. Now going back, I was uh, about to say uh, a while ago, no? so this is not just uh, for teaching uh, purpose. No? In the U.S. where this uh, machine was uh, made, they have clinical applications for, uh, for uh, this uh, device. They can upload the CT scan or MRI images here. Usually, we view CT scan MRI uh, Im images in their 2D uh, form. Uh, but uh, once you upload no, the DICOM uh, file, uh, which is the uh, digital file for CT, MRI images, you can upload it here and the device can uh, make uh, a 3D no, rendering or 3D image of uh, our uploaded uh, CT or MRI uh, file. So once... Uh, you have done that, no? This can also be uh, helpful, no? In surgical planning. Now, when you upload and uh, create 3D image of your CT MRI files, no, you can have, you can get a clearer picture, no? Example, you upload the CT scan of brain tumor, no? and 3D rendering was done, no? You can clearly see, no? The anatomy of uh, your tumor, no? the blood vessels going to the tumor. So that will be very helpful in uh, surgical planning. No? Because uh, be even before performing the actual surgery, even before performing uh, opening the head, you already have an idea no? what to expect no? once you open. And the uh, measurements no, that are generated no, in the uh, 3D uh, images, no, they are uh, very close to the actual. And another application, uh, there's a uh, add-on software no, that we can use so that we can design uh, prosthetics or implants for uh, patients. For example, you have... Uh, post-op patient, no? uh, tumor was taken out from uh, the face. So most of the time, this uh, 
head or face surgeries no we leave uh, our uh, patient uh, disfigured so with the anatomage uh, software and uh, another additional software no it allows uh, clinicians to design uh, implants or prosthetics no? for uh, that particular uh, group or sets of uh, patients no? even for uh, Dentists, no? maxillofacial uh, surgeons, no? they can uh, design uh, different uh, prosthetics or implants no? for uh, the oral cavity for the teeth no? using uh, the anatomy. Thank you, Doc.